How's she going, boys? Mike here. Welcome back to Grampy's Workshop, boys. I like when you drop into the shop. Uh, today, we're going to uh, work on the GC2300 again. We're doing some more maintenance on it. We're going to change the oil in the front end. The, uh, the tractor, the GC2300, it's a four-wheel drive tractor. The front drive axle has got its own oil supply. It's, uh, it's the same oil that we put in the transmission oil. It's, uh, I used uh, TDH oil, tractor differential hydraulic oil. And uh, it needs to get changed out regularly, so let's do that. Okay, we're going to change the uh, oil in the front uh, axle. There's a drain plug on either side. So we're going to take this drain plug out. And I have to watch it because uh, it holds, they say in the book it holds 4 liters of oil. I don't know how much oil my pan holds here. But we'll see. Doesn't look too bad, eh? But it's been over 250 hours and they recommend changing it every 250 hours. So I will. The oil is uh, thick and runs slow. So we'll just let her drain here for a bit. But keep an eye on it because I don't want to overfill my pan. So my pan is over half full. I'm going to shut this off and change pans. Because I don't want to uh, spill oil all over the shop. I did that once before. And no one liked it. So I'm going to get another pan. Alright, with the second pan in place, I'll take this drain plug out again. And hopefully it's almost empty. <laughs> so, the, uh, the oil is slowing down some, so I think this second pan is going to be enough to hold it all. But I'm going to let that go there, and then what I'll have to do is switch and uh, drain the... Uh, the other, the other offset here on the other side, but we'll just let this drain for a little bit. Okay, so we'll take the plug out of this side. And we'll let that drain there. So the oil is uh, I changed the pan because there was a lot more oil coming out of it than I thought. But I think this pan is going to hold it all. She's slowing down pretty good now too. Okay, that looks like she's just about done. So I'll put this plug in here. Snug this up. Wipe off any excess leak or drip or splatter or splish or whatever. And then we're going to go around the other side and put some oil in it. So, uh, trying to put the oil in the front end of the tractor. I don't know about you, but uh, I always spill it. I spill it everywhere. It's like the more I try to be neat, the messier it is. So, I was trying to come up with a way that I could easily get oil from my uh, five gallon bucket into some smaller container that I use for pouring the oil in the front end. So have a look and see what I uh, stumbled upon. This is not my idea. I found this on YouTube. I forget the channel, but it was about five years old, the video. But it works pretty good. I've been trying it here, so I'm going to continue to fill my little jug. Here's my jug here. I'm going to continue to fill that up, and I want to show you how I do it. So I'm not sure about uh, everyone else, but I always struggle trying to get oil from a five gallon pail uh, either into uh, like the front end of the tractor uh, or uh, when I even try to load up a little smaller container like this so that I can use that to put oil in the front axle or wherever, whatever I'm working on. I always struggle getting oil from this pail into the little jug. So even when I put a funnel in my jug, 
then it takes two hands usually to hold the pail. So I have to put the jug on the floor. Then as you start to pour the oil in it, well then the jug, the pail, the little jug might tip over, the funnel might come loose or something like that. It's always a risk that I'm going to have a major oil spill, right? So I found this little trick on how to get oil from the five gallon pail into the little jug and it's simple, it's easy and virtually no risk of spill. Now, this is how I'm going to do it. <clears throat> First of all, you take your five gallon pail and what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay it on the side. Just like that. There's some oil already out of this pail, but even on a brand new pail, when you pull open the spout, and some caps also have a vent on this side, make sure you leave that vent closed. But when you pull open this vent, this spout, even in a full pail, oftentimes the oil doesn't reach this spout. And I think this is done by design. I don't know. It, maybe I'm wrong. But anyway, when I turn mine on its side, you see there's no oil coming out. So now all I do is... I just hold my little jug with the funnel on it here and I rotate the pail. Well, just one second in order to keep this in frame. I'm going to start with my pail over here. So the pail is just on the bench or the table or whatever. So then you ro rotate the pail with the funnel under the spout until the oil comes out. And then you can just manage the flow rate of oil under the spout by rocking the pail back and forth. Isn't that just the slickest thing? And you can fill your jug with as much or as little as you want. And uh, then when you're finished, you say that's enough. You just rock the pail back. Put the cover on it. Now what I should have is a stopper on the edge of the bench there so that I don't lose my pail right over the side. But there we go. That's a really slick way of filling jugs from a five gallon pail with virtually no chance of spillage. I like it. Okay, uh, I have some uh, a pan under my front end here and I've got some dry floor under the front end as well because I'm anticipating I'm going to spill some. Uh, need a place to put my rag so I can get it right quick. Now, uh, also just to make sure I don't airlock this, I'm going to hold this up just a little bit off the axle. And from filling this front axle in the past, I've discovered that you have to put some in and then let it flow to the other side because uh, this is the one fill point for both axles. But it takes four liters, so let's see how we make out. No spill yet. Whoops, she's overflowing though. This is a, there's got to be better ways to do it than this, but this is the only way I know. I wonder if I just poured it direct without a funnel. Try it like this, see what happens. Can't see in there too good, so I have to get another light. I don't know, boys. It ain't easy. So this is going to take me about an hour. <laughs> not going too bad really. I like doing it better this way, pouring it directly. Because I have the small opening on the jug, then pouring it in directly is working pretty good. I'm still getting oil everywhere. Let's go. The fill level is halfway up the shaft 
of the uh, of the axle. Kind of hard to see. We're not there yet, though. Okay, I'm going to continue this. It's going to take a while. Okay, this is taking so long and taking so while, uh, such a time for the oil to settle. I'm just going to uh, close this up and let it settle out. Put a cap on my uh, little jug of fluid here. And I'm going to go try to uh, do some other chores here while this is filled or settling out. I'll come back to this. Okay, so uh, the uh, oil has had a chance to settle now in the axle from side to side. In fact, I've been using the tractor for a little bit. Uh, so we're just going to check now and see. Don't know if you can see in there. Apologize for the lighting. The lighting is not the best. But if you can see down in there, uh, the oil, proper level for it is halfway up the cross axle. And if you can see that as well as I can see it here, I'm not sure. Just get the angle reflecting off the surface of the oil there, right? Anyways, it is about halfway up. So that's good. A good amount of oil in the front axle. So we'll put this cover back in. Don't need this off anymore. Well, I only took it off to check it. <laughs> and there you go. So the front axle oil changed in the tractor. It's good. It's nice to get the oil change in your front end. I oftentimes forget about that. And also on my tractor, and I don't know whether this is common with all four-wheel drive tractors, but where that steering knuckle comes down on the end of the axles, uh, there's oil seals in there and they leak oil. And uh, I tend to add oil to the front axle a lot, uh, especially in the warmer weather. Uh, so that makes me not change the oil as often because I'm figuring I'm just adding to it, like why bother changing it. But you know, after the winter's worth of plowing and whatnot, you know, I added a little bit here and there, changing out's a good idea. So I did. It worked out all right. And uh, that little trick about filling up the uh, the smaller jug from the big from the big five gallon pail, I like that idea too. It certainly makes it a lot easier to add oil to the front axle. So I hope you liked the video. Uh, if you're new to the channel, welcome. I'm so glad you dropped by. I hope you come back more often and leave some comments. And uh, for my regular viewers, thank you all, each and every one of you. Uh, have a nice week everyone, stay safe, stay healthy, get your maintenance done, and we'll talk to you.